What kind of wave hurls a 1,180 ton rock up a cliff 40 meters high and then launches it 200 meters inland like it got punted by a geological titan? Well, meet Makalahi, Tonga's big rock. A limestone megablock roughly the size of a house. It weighs more than 300 African elephants or two fully loaded A380s. This house-sized boulder was hidden beneath jungle overgrowth up until 2024, and then locals tipped off scientists to this absolute unit sitting on top of a cliff. It's pretty crazy how much stuff is hidden underneath overgrowth. But anyway, question is, how did something so large move from a sea cliff all the way to where it is today, 200 meters inland? Well, using physics and tsunami modeling, researchers found that it would take a wave 50 meters tall with a 90 second period. That's taller than the Statue of Liberty and way too long to be a storm wave. Only one culprit makes sense. A landslide triggered tsunami. The kind caused by massive chunks of continental shelf or volcanic debris collapses underwater. We know that landslide triggered tsunamis can display staggering volumes of water and one of the most extreme examples is the 1958 Latuya Bay event in Alaska. This is where a massive landslide in a narrow fjord generated a wave over 500 meters high, the tallest ever recorded, obviously amplified by the confined shape of the valley. Another famous example is the Storage slide off the coast of Norway. It occurred around 8,000 years ago. It unleashed waves estimated at up to 20 meters high that struck the prehistoric land of Doggerland, yes, that exists, flooding coastlines from Scotland all the way down to Germany. In Makalahi's case, it was likely from a collapsed volcano or a submarine slope somewhere near Tonga. They dated flowstones, that's mineral crust from dripping water on the sides of the boulder, using uranium thorium dating. It turns out Makalahi was dropped off at least 6,891 years ago. Pretty accurate, making it the oldest known Holocene tsunami deposit in the entire Pacific. This wave didn't just crash, it carved a legacy. Still think tsunamis are overhyped waves? Well, this one launched a multi-story rock inland and left it like a breadcrumb for science. If you enjoy my content, please like, comment, share, follow. It really helps out me and my channel, and it just means everyone gets to learn something. I notice many of my viewers don't follow me, and it would be really, really helpful. Thanks as always, and I'll see you soon.